thank you thank you very much thank you very much i am very happy to be here uh, and i will i would like to congratulate all the uh, previous uh, speakers and i'm very happy with the, this first trauma course uh, with the Benha University. Uh, I have chosen this uh, talk about the personality or philosophy of treating fracture just to explain the basis that should have every resident before treating any fracture. And the objective may, is- May, may you please, sir, full screen, sir? Full screen, sir, please. Yes, yes, yes sir, thank okay. you is to outline the different patterns and behavior of fractures and to discuss some factors that give fracture their own personality. Each fracture is particular as shown by the previous talk. It's to demonstrate how these factors affect decision-making during management of these type of fractures. Every fracture is particular and we have to take in consideration a lot of factors before treating. And to provide my patient with skeletal injury an early return to mobility and function by effective and rational management of injured bones and soft tissue. Orthopedic and trauma surgeon naturally concentrate on the fracture. When you see, when you show, uh, when you are in a meeting and you see you wanted to have an idea about uh, how to treat any type of fractures. Most of, most of orthopedic surgeon or mainly young surgeon mainly are concentrated on the type of fracture. Is it a simple fracture? They will tell you it's transverse, oblique, diaphyseal, epiphyseal, metaphyseal. And they spend a lot of time in describing type of fracture. And Looking at x-rays and diagnosing the fraction pattern is not good enough for decision making and management. And uh, this was uh, well uh, explained with uh, the two previous uh, speakers. And mainly with Dr. Gamal Hosni with all the factors or the environment that he explained which are impairing the type of treatment in uh, uh, Egyptian environment. Other factors may dominate the decision-making in the management of some particular fractures. This is not only the type of fracture, but the other factors that may dominate the decision-making in the management of the, some particular fracture. For proper treatment, and we need a planning of treating every fracture. And we have to consider multiple fractures, multiple factors. The type of injury, mainly the type of patient, the personnel and the resources yet you have to treat this fracture. And this was well explained by Dr. Gamer Hosni in the, in the first talk. It is not just fracture type. We cannot say, I will go to the theater only to treat an uh, supracondylar or intercondylar fracture. You have to take in consideration a lot of factor. You see, this is a fracture of the femur, for example, but when you wanted to say how we will treat this type of fracture, it is nailing or plating or any or extra external fixation, whatever type of, of treatment, you have to consider the injury, you have to consider the patient, you have to consider the care team, and you have to to see after your resources. What about the injury? The injury, it's a fracture. It could be vascular injury. It could be compartment syndrome. It could, it could be an open wound. It could be crash injury, and it could be some nerve lesions. And what about the patient? You have to take in consideration the previous condition of the patient the age, the physiologic age, the diagnosis before the fracture. If this patient is taking some medication, you have to take in consideration there are other injuries, physiologic response, the expectation and the needs of the patient. You will treat the fracture depending on the expectation of the needs of the fracture. What about the resources? 
what type of OR you have, what type of instruments you have, what type of implants you have to treat this treatment. You can tell me, I can, I can, I suggest a nailing, for example, for this sister femur. But you don't, if you don't have a CR, or you even sometimes don't have a nail, you have to change the type of osteosynthesis that could be played. The type of imaging, if you don't have a CR, you cannot do closed reduction with the nailing. I see you, and if you have priority of other patients, the care team, the surgeon, the, the fracture that Dr. Gamal Husni showed us are not done for young surgeons. They are done for expert surgeons. Then you're not, not every fracture for any, every surgeon. If you, do, if you do have assistant, if you do have good team of anesthesia, if there are previous conditions that are not good, or nurses, the post-operative care, if you have a rehab system, rehab program with uh, all your team and a social support for some patients. Then you will take in consideration all these factors one by one. For local injury factors, you take in consideration the factor, the vascular injury, the compartment syndrome, open wound or closed wound, if it is crush injury or nerve injury to be concentrated on the, not only concentrated on the zone of injury. Energy absorbed determines the local injury severity. And Dr. Gamal Hassan showed us a lot of high energy uh, fractures, which are very comminuted and very complicated to be treated. And local injury factors indicate the extent of damage to bone and soft tissue, the related risk of complication, the concept of high and low energy fracture. And you know that the energy is half the mass of the double square of the velocity. It is EMU square by two. What about high energy, low energy? These are two types of tibial fracture, but you see there is gas on the, on the X-ray, which is on the left, and the treatment is very different between the first and the second one regarding the energy. It is the same thing for this type of fracture, high energy versus low energy of fracture. High energy fractures are very complicated to be treated, and you have to take in consideration the, the site where the fracture had been done and all these type of contact gives it the contamination of the site of the fracture and give you to change the type of treatment and medication that you have to give in post-operative period or perioperative period. And the low energy fr uh, fracture are fracture in closed system and for sport mainly and uh, the environment of the fracture. The cause of the injury, if you have an injury in such type of conditions, you see that the contaminated area, it will be different. And you have to treat the fracture of the tibia. And when you have the fracture in such environment, you have to treat some uh, germs and to treat some pathogens, which are different from this site, for example. Even if it is the same type of fracture, but depending on the environment, you will have a different treatment. Second point about the local site of the fracture to understand the fracture in its global way. Prepare your mind, the history of the fracture, physical exam, imaging, analysis, and consultation. And you will take in consideration all these the different terms. Patient factors, the oxygenation of the factors fluid and electrolytes, cardiac status, hematocrit, hypotension, then the physiologic response of the patient to the injury is very important to be in consideration. The previous conditions, the age, physiologic age, you cannot treat the same fracture, the humerus fracture, transverse humerus fracture in a boy or in elderly or in an old person. It's very different depending on the patient factor and the type of treatment of this fracture will differ from one patient to another. And the previous condition, the age, but the, the, the associated diseases, diabetes, osteoporosis, paralysis, obesity, etc. All these factors influence the type of treatment that you can give to the patient. 
the previous condition that diseases physiological aids and mainly the diseases including obesity, psychological, medication, drugs, alcohol, tobacco, all these elements are should be considered when you treat any type of fracture. And how would you treat this fracture, for example? This is a medio difficile humerus fracture. When you see in a meeting, you say, what is this fracture? They will tell you transverse humeral fracture. It's very easy. I will put a plate, I will put a nail, but it depends on the patient factor. It is not, not the same treatment if the same patient is obese. If you have a sumo like that, how do you treat it? Would you put a plate? Would you put a nail? How do you set up your patient? Do you have the resources? In the OR, do you have the resources to have this patient on a table to put the plate or to put, uh, to put the nail? These are all these factors that you have to take in consideration in treating such type of fracture. How do you treat this fracture too? This is proximal femur and this is different. When you add the proximal femur in very obese patient, it will be very difficult how to set up in the OR and you should have a traction table. Then different people have different expectation and have different preferences in treating their fracture. Other injury, soft tissue injury could be much more important than bone injury. Bone is nothing with soft tissue. Bone is nothing with, without soft tissue. Patient factor, other injuries, other body systems, head injury, chest injury, abdominal injury, all the lip and pelvic injury, and the multiply injured patient, you have to take in consideration all this time. Multiple injured patient, injury severity scores more than 16, life before limb and limb before fracture then life before limb and limb before fracture. Multiply injured patient life, ATLS, the limb, ulterior repair, fasciotomy if there is a risk of compartment syndrome, and then we treat the fracture. The bright open wounds reduce and stabilize. Damage control orthopedic, it's limited or temporary orthopedic care to minimize harm in unstable patient, shock, coagulopathy, brain injury, for example, external fixation, limited nailing, wood debridement and irrigation, reduction of dislocation, fasciotomy or compartment syndrome. All these things should be, all these items should be taken in consideration in multiple injury patients and to take in control, damage control in orthopedic. When you, when you, when you decide to treat uh, one fracture, you should to take in consideration the resources, available resources that you have types, size, available, and they are sterile, complete or not complete, and mainly how to use them. Don't go to the OR if you, have, if you are not familiar with some resources or a technique that you are not familiar with. The equipment available, now how to, to use, you need the CR. To do a knee nailing, you have to have a CR. Then in summary, Attention to fracture is important when planning the management. When you plan to treat any fracture, you have to pay any attention to how to plan it. Other factors can significantly influence management of the skeletally injured patient, injury factors, patient factors, young, sport, or any have different expectations from elderly people. The resources that you have, taking consideration the resources that you have before treating any fracture, and you have, if you have the ability to treat them. Healthcare team factors are very important too. You need a team to treat a complex fracture. Then a summary. The personality of the fracture is decided by the injury, the patient, the care team, and the resources. All these items affect the management and the plan how to treat any fracture. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for inviting me for, for such one.